Hey guys, Bob here, bobsplumbingvideos.com, and what you're looking at is the Rigid Faucet and Sink Installer. It's a great little tool that I picked up, and I use it mainly like when I have plastic lock nuts and plastic connecting nuts, uh, you know, in lieu of a regular basin wrench, because this works uh, a little better with the, with the plastic nuts. And let me briefly go over it uh, with you. Now, you'll see this slit in here, this slit going from... Uh, left to right. That's so you can, uh, you know, slip this over the, the water supply tube going up to the faucet. And these inserts come out. So let me take this one out here. I'll get that out of the way. I'll explain that to you in a second. So on the top here, what we have is a uh, insert that will actually latch on to the basin nuts. So you can you can turn those basin nuts, grab onto them, tighten them, loosen them, whatever the case may be. And you also have a spot in here for the lock nuts. Now the only caveat or uh, I want to bring to your attention is the lock nut has to be big enough. Now they claim 7 8 but I find that on some of the lock nuts they don't grab all of them. So depending upon the size of the lock nut, it may not grab the lock nut uh, itself but you'll definitely want to give it a try um, and, and uh, use it that way. Uh, again, you may want to check. Some of the lock nuts I find are uh, a little small, such as the one I have here, this little brass one, a little, little undersized, but it says that it'll take 7 8 inch, uh, seven eighths inch lock nut. Uh, again, I found that to work on some, but not all of them. You just need to be aware of that. What it really works great on is the plastic lock nuts. But before I show you that, now this is an insert. Now this insert comes out. And what I like about this is, check this out. You see this part here? The cool thing about this is you can set this back inside. Now, you know the emergency water shutter valves that you have inside your sink there. And you have to reach in there sometimes. To shut them off and there's like a lot of stuff underneath the kitchen cabinet I mean I open up kitchen cabinets there's like tons of stuff and with this tool you can reach in and this will grab onto the handle this will actually grab onto the handle look at that and you can open the valve or you can shut the valve so that I think is really really cool then what you can do is take the insert out. And this is the unique part about this little wrench. You can pick and choose which slots fit the particular uh, plastic lock nut that you may be using. And, uh, you know, it grabs onto lock nuts. It'll grab onto these plastic lock nuts, and it really, really does a great job. You know, the little wings will fit in the corresponding slots here. And you may have to do a little experimentation, but it works. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, let me just flip this around. Because the slots on the opposite end are a little different. So some of them fit better. Like this one fits really, really cool. See that? So you were able to tighten that up, take it off. That's the lock nut, the plastic lock nut. You can even... Uh, you can even uh, tighten and loosen these lock nuts for the, uh, this is the, uh, you know, the faucet spray holder that holds the spray head. And look at that. You can just put that on there and loosen it, tighten it. Great. You don't have to kill yourself getting up there with a base wrench because these grab the little wings on the plastic nuts. I love that. Now also, with this insert back in here, This will grab the wings on the, uh, on the, uh, actually, excuse me, let me take the insert out, on the, uh, the basin nuts that actually hold the water supply. They'll go in there like that. And again, you have to, you have to, you have to find the proper slots for this to go in. And I believe I had it right the first time, actually. That'll fit. 
you can see that that fits in there like that. So you can use this insert and this will fit in here like this and that's what you can do to tighten up the, uh, the nut, the basin nut. Again, this will work on a brass nut. Brass nut fits in there nicely. And you're just going to have to experiment with the lock nuts, with the brass lock nuts. It says it'll take a 7 8 inch nut uh, and 1 inch, uh, but I find it works a little better with a 1 inch size, the 7 8 You see this little play in there? But nevertheless, I absolutely would give it a whack, give it a whirl. What, what's also great about this tool is, I don't know if you guys ever attempted to put a sink strainer in, but here's a sink strainer. Now, when you put the sink strainer in through the sink, you know, what you're actually seeing, you're only seeing this down at the bottom of the sink. And a lot of guys would uh, grab onto these threads here with a channel ox while they proceeded to tighten this brass nut here. And you really don't want to grab onto these threads because you could chew them up or you'll, you'll put nicks in them and you could possibly egg shape the bottom of the strainer. So what Rigid did was they, they made an insert that fits inside this tool. And actually, it, can f it fits up inside here and it actually sits in if you can see that in there, you see that you can hold the strainer still with the tool while you tighten this nut. And actually, how it works is you would just put this inside the, the correct end because it, it's got two ends on it. There you go. And you would take this, this would come up. You put that through the bottom of the strainer and just get that latched onto the, the cross member in the strainer. There you go. Now I'm holding on to it. Now you can tighten up the strainer and not have to grab onto these threads, which I think is great. So there it is, guys. The, the rigid faucet and sink strainer installer. It's also got an end on here where you could you could grab onto this hex here with a with an open end wrench if you wanted to have a little extra leverage. But I find that just by holding onto this, you get plenty of leverage with this. And uh, there it is, the rigid sink and strainer installer. It's a nifty little tool to have uh, in your uh, tool arsenal. I would recommend one. Uh, I went out and bought one. I mean, I'm a real true old timer and I, I use my basin wrench for practically everything but when the plastic lock nuts and the plastic uh, basin connecting nuts came along and especially especially these these uh, you know hose head holders uh, this works great to tighten up these plastic nuts and then with with the addition of the uh, tool to hold the strainer still and the addition of the uh, insert here where you could shut off the emergency water shut off valves this is just a nifty tool to have there you go guys again the rigid faucet and sink installer check it out and i hope to see you guys in the next video stay well take care